One of the things that people in the community see every day is the abandonment. While others viewed Oliver and perhaps other communities in the city as being poor communities, that we were actually rich if we just uncover the land. And we started talking about how can we begin to demolish uh, the properties that were vacant. And we began to look at how we could begin to rebuild the community. We found out that there were an, a group of pastors who had been organizing in their churches and together they had pooled over 1.2 million dollars. We thought this is exactly where the Jewish community should be. This is exactly the kind of investment that we'd love to help support. For us, a really critical criteria for making an investment in a neighborhood is the degree to which that community is self-determining the role of the investment in their future. So we were able to match the 1.2 million dollars that was raised locally. It, it really, it, it really never ceases to just, just overwhelm me that they, that they got it and they understood our responsibility. On North Calhoun Street, between the five and seven hundred blocks, there are the new houses. The, the people who move in, they're going to be able to consider uh, other. Uh, investing in other opportunities for the children, you know, whether it's paying for music lessons or they'll be able to take care of, you know, health care, uh, things that people only dream about, they can actually do. For Ben the Ark, it's essential that we're working across lines of race and faith. And this investment was an opportunity for us to work with the African American community in East Baltimore and to work with churches to demonstrate that the Jewish community sees that our fates are inextricably linked and that we all have an interest in keeping all communities healthy, safe, and vital.